Hello, this is 30 Min VR, and I have Walkabout Mini Golf. This is launching on Steam tomorrow, um, or maybe today, if you are um, watching it on the day of the launch. I was lucky enough to get a beta key a couple of days early, and uh, and this is my first go on it, at least on the Steam version. I do have the Quest 2 version, which is absolutely fantastic. So um, I'm going to go straight into uh, the easy. Let's go to the. Actually, let's pick one of these. Uh, let's go to that one. So you can see there's uh, we have 18 whole courses and you have the easy ones and then you have the harder ones which you unlock by uh, completing the easy ones and getting a certain score which isn't too hard to do. Um, the hard ones are pretty tricky but I'll show you one of those in a minute but let's try one of these themed ones and you can see there's lots of different um, areas all very different. What's really great about this game is um, the amount of uh, different basically the, the the imagination that's gone into all these holes they've done such a great job at making everything look really really nice unique each hole is completely different uh different challenge so it's a lot of fun um the other thing is the controls are really really tight um it just feels great i'm using a, uh, an index here but i I'm, I'm using the original htc vive ones which works very well because it's a, a straight controller which uh, does feel very much like a a golf club so it works really well uh, one thing that's really nice about this game as well is just the physics of it it feel you feel really well connected when you hit the ball um, you know when you've made a good shot you know when you've messed it up there's just something about it which just works uh, so I'm just gonna shut up and just get on with it for a bit and just show you around it um, it looks just like the quest to one I think visually it's uh, just an identical carbon copy which is not a bad thing, it's just a nice looking game. Um, I think maybe the the lighting may be a bit different on this, might be a little bit better on the on the Steam one, but I have to say I'm not sure, I have to say, I, only, I played the Quest 2 version a couple of days ago, and uh, I can't quite tell, I can't tell if it's any different, but I have to say it looks amazing on the Quest 2. If you have a Quest 2, buy it, it's only like £10. Um, yeah, it's a super, super immersive game. It does have multiplayer as well, and I believe it's going to have cross-play, so you can play with Quest friends as well, uh, using the Steam one. Um, which I think is really nice as well, because I think it's just a really nice social game to enjoy. And to challenge yourself and just have a bit of a, bit of a knock around with your chums. There you go, just about perfect there. Uh, what do we do? Where's the hole? Okay, so. So we've got three different options. Uh, I'm not sure which one is the best one, so uh, let's just whack it on the one on the right. Or not. And uh, completely messed it up. Where's the ball go? Oh, <laughs> okay, I got lucky it went down here. Not to worry. I need to uh, rebound the ball around here, around the angles. Oh, almost. Almost. Yeah, but the touch, the, the, the touch of the controls here is excellent. You really feel connected with the game. There's some VR games, just uh, like uh, Eleven Table Tennis, where you feel so connected with the controls and everything in the game just feels really natural. This is one of those games which um, is like that. It just feels absolutely perfect. And with you know when you actually practice, I've messed that one up just by talking and waving the uh, waving this around. But never mind. Let's just uh, smash it and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> doesn't always work out. I've gone right to right to the start. Well, that's no good. Never mind. Let's give it another go. Well, that's a little bit better. So this will be a pretty poor hole, but I can live with that. Let's see if we can uh, finish it off here, though. Uh, close. Close. Never mind. Double bogey. Uh, okay, let's see. That'll do. And 
Moment. Oh. That's annoying. The great thing about this game, it's um, it's very um, replayable because everything is so different. All these different, uh, <laughs> I just completely messed that up, but it didn't work out too terribly, I suppose. Let me just, uh, I'll put this one and I will show you another one. Let's go back to the, the other thing you can do is uh, you can zoom out and actually see where, you, where all the holes are and whatnot. It's kind of cool. Let's go to the main menu. Let's try a different one. So I'll show you the slightly more difficult one since uh, it's the hard, since I've unlocked that one by playing the tourist trap. Uh, so let's have a quick go on that. And I'll just show you, it, do, it does get quite challenging. Uh, let's start over. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely more tricky, but it's very fun. There's also collectibles as well along the way. So I'll probably get a bogey on this one. I think it is pretty harsh. Yeah. And you can see how <laughs> trickier these holes are on the harder levels. You have to be really, really precise. So you can get it around there or around there. Ideally, that one's probably the better option. <sighs> I got lucky. I'll take that. Let's see if we can get a birdie. That's good. And then, okay, through the barrel and just kind of bounce it around and see what happens. Or miss the barrel completely and then start the shot again. In fact, I'm further back. That's what I should have done. And then, uh, yeah, we need to use the angles and try and see how close we can get to the hole. Uh, these sort of ones you can actually just move around so you can just have a walk around and you can just see and track which one you want which lane you want it to go down which I guess that one or that one probably that one which is from what I can see it's the far left far right sorry let's try this again so that's the one we're aiming for. That's good. I'll do. Uh, okay, this one is pretty tricky. So some sort of bouncing off here to there, to there, to there, which is really, really hard. Uh, I don't think I can do it in one shot. I don't know. Yeah, that's a really, really tight shot. And sometimes it's best to actually just take the easy route rather than uh, be the hero because you can waste a lot of shots otherwise uh, which you'll learn I should have just done that come on yeah. yep hmm. 
This is another tricky one. You can see there's a little island there. So we need to uh, just get it around the angles and hopefully get it close enough. That's too hard and I've just made life harder for myself. Let's just try and get it close to that bridge there. Too short. I felt that as soon as I hit that. No, I didn't do it hard enough. That's no, too hard. This game day is punishing. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's close to the edge. This is going to be a bad one again. How bad? Double bogey. This is a curious one. Um, what if I just hit it? And that'll do. And hopefully, I can finish it off. Oh, that's close. Okay, this hole, I don't really have a choice other than to try and get it down the middle. I think that's okay. Well, ideally there, and but have a shot of getting it in two shots. So yeah, that's no good, but we will carry on. And just see how my long shots are. As it happens, sometimes quite good. <laughs> this is a tricky one. So we need to get it in that ramp straight off. And uh, yeah, the thing sometimes you kind of go straight for it. And the problem is, and I'm just going to take the easy route here. If you hit the back, then obviously you're going to be having to then track back and then get it up the ramp. So sometimes just uh, take the take the easy option and uh, take one extra shot rather than being being a hero. This is a difficult one. Oh, it's pretty good. Just a tad off. Let's try another one. Let's see how about that one. Seagull stacks. See another nice environment. Sea view. Let's try and uh, get a good angle and just see how close we can get to the hole. I think I should be okay. If you can get it perfect, you can get a hole in one here. Very tempting. I shall give it a go. Oh, close. Never mind. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of these on some of the harder levels. There's a lot of ramp stuff, which is, can be really, really tricky. And uh, if you take too many shots, then um, you uh, it just takes you to the next hole. But you do need to be careful because it does bounce around a lot. That's no good. A bit more. So sometimes if you put too much power, it will just bounce around the rocks and then go out of play. So uh, 
You can't just smash it. Nice. Uh, okay. Think about how do I use these curves to make it go in the hole. I'm not sure I can. I don't have those skills, but let's just smash it down the middle to see what happens. <laughs> not bad. Okay, let's have a quick tour of this one, see where we can go. Uh, nothing really direct at all, is there? Okay, let's just see if I can, how far we can get it up this side. What I'm going to do is take it around there and see if it can go around the curve and get close to the hole. Something like that. Nice. Mm. Just smash it, see what happens. I think that's the order of the day here. That's what happens. Let's do that again. Oh god. <laughs> Just... That's what impatience gets you. This is going to be a terrible hole. And this is the easy one as well. Easy level. Which I've just made a massive... Uh, it does show you the... It's a par 4 and I've done 5 strokes. Sometimes it's worth, worth just looking at your, the, your wrist to see how many shots you have because um, taking those hero shots, sometimes you don't need to. You, don't, you know, you can just take it easy and you can get your birdies and eagles without trying to overplay it. This is bad. But, uh, but let's move on. Ah, the other thing is... Uh, you can find some hidden balls and you collect those and you've got more selectable balls to play with. Let's be careful here. So if we just get it over the ridge. Yeah, that'll do. Awesome. Very relaxing game this. <laughs> It's really great. You just take your mind off stuff. You just look at the nice scenes and hit a few balls around. Um, it really is kind of good. If you want to take your mind off something, this is a great game because um, it's so immersive and it just like makes you focus. Um, nice way to unwind. Although uh, I'll say this is a quite a stressful shot. What par is it? Par four. I'll give it a go. I'll see if I can get between the wall and the lake. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this one will be easier. And it's par four, did two strokes though. 
So I can get this as a birdie if I can get this in. Oh yes, perfect. Par three. Um, yeah, you want to be accurate in this one because it can. Oh, still might be able to get it. Come on! Yes! Perfect. This one's a really, really tough one. Because <laughs> um, you can miss and it just goes off the edge and it happens. It's, this has happened to me many, many times. Um, and the easiest option is to go for... Because if you can get the edge there, then you can bounce it off, but it's so hard. And it's very tempting. And I've done this many times, I messed it up. So I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the big part of that rock. And just bounce it away and uh, just take that extra shot. I think we're going to be good. Boom. Ooh, interesting. Just crack it off the edge and see what happens. Do the same here. Okay, I can get a birdie here if I can uh, finish it off. Awesome. No, not the side I wanted it down, but I don't think it's going to really matter too much. There's probably some, ah, there's a golf ball, yeah. You need to look around for these golf balls and just collect them. Probably missed a lot of them. This is a very long shot. That was okay, I wasn't wasn't gonna get it in the hole. Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, let's collect that. Oh, five. Okay, so we can take it easy. I think I'm going to take this route here and just take it nice. Oh, that's no good. Um,. I can maybe save a shot, try and bounce it off there and get it up there. Ah, oh, nice, that'll do. Okay, still can do it. Concentrate. Just need the right amount of touch on this one. Otherwise it's going to go over the edge or you're not going to get it over the edge. <laughs> okay. This looks like a fun one. Oh, close. This is very, very tricky. You want to keep it on this, uh, on this top ridge. I 
which I did not manage to do, which makes it a lot harder. So just belt it around and just see what we can do or not. Oh, come on. And shots. Par five, okay, I can get a par. I don't think I can get it in from this angle. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, close. Damn. And there. Another uh, 18 holes I just smashed through. Well, that's fun. Anyway, guys, so there you go. Steam version of Walkabout Mini Golf. I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm not sure what the price will be, but I'm sure it's not going to be very expensive. Awesome, awesome replayable themed courses. They're just brilliant. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, and there you go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'll be back soon with uh, another video. So, uh, until next time, take care and bye-bye.